Seagirl294, and today we have a behind-the-scenes look into Warmth of a Mug. This is not the final picture, and you won't see the final picture at any point during this video. This is just for people who are interested in seeing how I do my pencil sketch when I do a pencil sketch before a picture. So, it's hard to see in this first because I'm doing it very lightly, but that's what I typically do when I first start my pencil sketching, is I'll do a very, very light, very light traces on pencil. Um, because once I get kind of general blocks of shapes of where I want things to be, then I can go in with a little bit of a darker pencil and add in the, f well, I would say final line, except I'm going to be inking this. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already seen the Warmth of a Mug Watch Me Draw, go ahead and go back to my YouTube channel, go to the Watch Me Draw playlist and find it and look at it. That way you can kind of get some context for where this picture is going. Okay. So I'm guessing if you're still watching this, either you've seen Warmth of a Mug, or you don't want to, or whatever. That's fine, I suppose. But like I said, this is just going to be the pencil sketch, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the techniques I use, um, or some of the inspiration behind the piece as I go. Um, some things that I typically wouldn't talk about in my longer uh, videos. The other thing is, it's just going to be me talking for basically the whole video. So if you don't like my voice, or you want to hear some more wordless music, then I recommend you go back to my channel and go back to the Watch Me Draw playlist, where I typically do wordless music with me just interjecting every now and again. So this video is a lot more stream of conscious, and... I started with the mug and drawing the hand in the mug as I was looking at reference pictures at the time to make sure I kind of got the angle of the hand right. And after doing that, I realized this hand exists with a face behind it somewhere and there needs to be a person, but based on the size, I'd already done everything. Obviously the person was gonna be holding it up right near their face. The initial idea I had for this fit very well with that anyways. So that's what I decided to go ahead and do that. And you can see that this video is a lot less heavily edited than my typical Watch Me Draw series. Because this is, yes, it's sped up. I don't actually draw at three times normal human speed. But other than that, I'm going to kind of leave most little things in, like pauses and stuff, to kind of show you that what I do when I'm drawing, there's a lot of pausing, there's a lot of thinking, you know, looking at that picture looking up something. Um, I look at tutorials all the time. Um, I'm not where I want to be with my art yet, but I am in that process, and I have made, you know, a lot of improvement from where I was yesterday, from where I was last year, definitely from five or ten years ago. So even though there's some more rough patches in this kind of behind-the-scenes video, I think... If you're watching a behind-the-scenes video, that's the kind of thing you want to see. And so I left those things in there. And I am drawing right now. You can see I'm still working on the hand. I did draw it a little bit earlier. Um, I don't know if you could tell because it was very lightly sketched in there. And the lighting on this video, you can't see all of the lightest of the pencil lines. But I had to erase that and kind of start over with part of the hand. And I'm adding in things here and there. And it is kind of uh, out of style for me to draw the center part of the, th the piece like that and not draw the, draw the not have the head shape down, really. I have the hat, though, to kind of help me guide myself and make sure that as I'm drawing it, I'm not going to, you know, end up cutting the person's eye off the top of the sketchbook or something crazy. So the inspiration for this piece actually just came from me thinking about winter. I knew this video was going to be one that I uploaded in December. And so I was thinking about winter and different holidays and different celebrations. And I didn't really want to do anything for a specific celebration because in my family and the way that I was raised, there's like five or six major events between October and December. And I'm sorry, there's five or six major events in November and December. Excuse me, I misspoke. In October, there's somebody's birthday in my family. So we kind of start our celebration, our holiday season, when that person has their birthday, and then we just kind of keep it going all the way through January um, for a little bit. So 
that I couldn't really pick just one thing to celebrate, and I didn't want to do some major piece with a bunch of different holidays and birthdays and anniversaries, and that just seemed like too much thing. So I was thinking about winter in general, and I thought of, you know, that feeling when you're wearing a nice warm sweater right out of the dryer, and maybe you got like a nice cup of hot cocoa or coffee or apple cider or, you know, eggnog, but I was really thinking of something more warm, and I was just thinking about that kind of thing, and the idea to draw a person in a hat with mug just seemed appropriate. And after doing that, I realized, well, if they're wearing like a warm hat, they're probably going to be wearing a sweater. So then I started thinking about, you know, the person's personality a little bit and contemplating the colors and what kind of motif I was going to have. Uh, the certain colors I knew from the very beginning. I wanted the person to have brown hair and brown eyes. But other things like the exact colors of the mug and the sweater, they kind of came to me as I was coloring them in. But I knew I wanted to put a background with this person. However, I had spent quite a while drawing the person themselves. So after all of that, I didn't have a lot of ideas. And so I decided to do something simple, which would be just a, ba a brick background. But it's at about this point that I'm drawing the earmuffs that I think about... What if I just do the background as something in just marker? Now, in the final drawing, I actually do end up tracing in my inking pens the outlines of the bricks, but I was originally going to just do them in the red marker. However, for ease of clarity and to make it a little simpler myself, I decided to go ahead and ink the brick lines. Um, and, of course, I put the earmuffs on the person um, such that they're under their hat. And it wasn't just because I didn't want to draw ears, although I didn't want to draw ears either. It was partially because I was thinking about what kind of things I like to do if I'm feeling cold in the winter. I like to wear sweaters. I like to put ear warmers on. I like to have a hat. And so I was kind of picturing this person doing all of those kinds of things like I like to do. The only difference is this person's not wearing gloves, and I almost always wear gloves in the winter. But because I wanted to draw the details of the hand, I didn't want to bother with gloves. And as I go with the eyes, I have this idea to draw uh, eye highlights that are star-shaped. These highlights definitely show the person's personality. And then I start drawing the shoulders. And I do have a little bit of trouble sometimes drawing shoulders correctly. Because in real life, my own are extremely narrow. And they are relatively small, even for people of my same height. And so I tend to think of people having my same proportions instead of having a more common proportion. So you'll see I draw the arm, no problem. And I'm like, oh, this arm should kind of be out. And after doing that, I realize it doesn't, it doesn't look right at all because... If that arm's out, then how can that be the one that's holding the mug? And it's it's not going to work like that. So I kind of go through a couple of revisions with the arm until I find the arm and the shoulder kind of look like they're supposed to. And they look like a human um, instead of looking kind of weird. And in the end, I think I end up with a pretty happy picture it's a very calm picture and i think the proportions while not perfect are pretty good of course to talk about the colors which are the thing i love most about my own art you'd have to see the watch me draw picture where i do add the colors to it but as far as pencil sketches go i actually rather like this one and the oc oh, there you go even after thinking i was done with the arm i realized there's another problem i'm gonna have to fix this and do that and Oh, there we go. I'm going to, oh, yeah, because I drew the head initially, but after drawing everything else, looking at the head more closely, I realized it's not quite right, so I'm going to go back and fix that. That's okay. It was just guidelines in the first place, and you know that's why I'm working with pencil first, and then I ink over after my pencil work. Um, and I've added the, added the hair in the front, but I realized that this person, their hair is short, but it's not was cut short so obviously I do want to include the hair details in the back and again you see me even at this point I'm still changing a couple things here and there about the arm because I come be a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to pencil work 
But in the end, I think the pencil work turned out very nice. And thanks for watching the behind the scenes look.